Today I'm going to show you how to multiply two thirds together. So there's two rules to follow. If you have root A times root B, you'll get the answer root A times B. And the second rule, if the thirds are the same, so if you have root A times root A, you just end up with the answer A. So let's apply these rules on the examples here. So this time we've got root 7 times root 3. So what we've got to do then is multiply the numbers underneath the roots together. So that's the same as root 7 times 3. So 7 times 3 is 21. So our final answer is root 21. So let's move on to example 2. So this time we have root 11 times root 11. So again we just need to multiply the numbers underneath the square roots are together, so 11 times 11 is 121, so we end up with root 121. And we know that the square root of 121 is 11. So notice that when the two numbers underneath the roots are the same, you end up with just a whole number as your answer. So let's move on to example 3. This time we've got 2 root 5 times 3 root 2. So this time we've got whole numbers before our numbers, so we need to multiply these together as well, and then we need to multiply the thirds. So we can change the order on this and write it as 2 times 3 times root 5 times root 2. So we can work out 2 times 3 which is 6, and then we can multiply our thirds together using the first rule, so that's 5 times 2. So 5 times 2 is 10, so our final answer is 6 root 10. Thanks for watching.